Hello everyone, my name is Victor Sindana and I will be presenting my research project on understanding the prevalence and signs of overtraining in youth athletes. So a range of 5 to 60 percent of athletes suffer from overtraining syndrome. It is also known as OTS. This condition is likely to occur in individuals who take no notice of the signs of overreaching and will continue their training, which will increase the chances of a musculoskeletal injury. But let's try to understand how does this happen and why. There are two aspects, the psychological aspect and the physiological. The psychological aspect is the start of OTS, the reason being the fear of failure because of embarrassment or maybe not feeling good enough. And of course, that is an unpleasant feeling. This occurs because of the athletes, coaches, and because of their parents. The two factors play a very big role in overreaching. They both excessively push the athlete to train intensely without implementing any time to recover. But at times it can also be the athletes themselves, overriding their ability to recover due to training the training load. The physiological aspect is the signs that are present in the athletes that suffer from OTS, which are delays in recovery from training, their performance uh, plateaus, uh, unable to move their lower extremities, uh, which is known as heavy leg muscles. Uh, also, they cannot train or complete at manageable levels of intensity. And um, lastly, the unusual muscle soreness. But there are many others like loss of appetite, metabolic imbalance, and excessive fatigue. But however, there are assessments that determine whether or not the athletes had OTS, such as retrospective and mood questionnaires, and physiological and psychological screenings. But although OTS may sound very complex, it does have feasible solutions, like taking time off, improving your sleep, schedule, improving your nutrition, and your diet. So when encountered with a patient that is diagnosed with OTS, what needs to be done is to check the athlete's past and current medical history to use the solutions. Thank you.